Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how you can make any object look 2D as well as its shadows in Blender. So first, make sure that you're using EV Render Engine. And for this tutorial, I'll be using a sphere. Enter the shader editor and add a new material. Add a diffuse PSDF. A shader to RGB and the color ramp. Connect them and make sure to set the color ramp to constant. And as you can see now I have two colors. You can add more by pressing the plus button over here and adjust them to your liking. Also, another thing that you can do is you can go here in the left corner and change from object to world. And here you can change the world color. Now this will affect the shader on your object, but you can always go back and adjust the colors. Now as you can see, our shading looks pretty 2D, we just need to make the outline. So for that, select your mesh and add a solidify modifier. Then go back into the shader editor and add a second material. For this one, add an emission shader and set it to black. And also make sure you enable backface calling for the outline effect to work. Now go back and adjust the settings of the solidify modifier, just like this. Also to make your shadows look 2D as well, what you can do is first add a plane or any surface. Then repeat the same shading process. And now if you go over here in the render settings, you can go to shadows and change the mode from soft shadows to high bit. And as you can see now our shadows look really sharp and more 2D style. And also another thing that you can do to further adjust your shadows, you can go back in the shader editor and add a mix node. Duplicate these three nodes and connect them just like this. Set the first color to white. And make sure to set the mix node to multiply. Now if you change the second color, you will see that only the shadows get affected. So this way you can play around and adjust the color or the opacity of the shadows. Also as a bonus to this tutorial, if you ever want to make your camera spin around an object like this, uh, the easiest way to do it is by adding an empty object. It can be anything you want. And then parenting the camera to that object. Now if you rotate your empty object, the camera will move along. And that is the end of this video, thank you so much for watching.